Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel where we're gonna cover seven tools that I have used a lot in my NFT journey and that I just think you guys should know about and that for sure can help you make more money as well which at the end of the day is what we all want to do. So if you get any value from this video at all do consider to subscribe also remember to smash that like button follow me over on Twitter and check out my Patreon links down below and if there's any other tools that you guys usually use that wasn't featured in today's video do let me know down in the comment section because if I find more awesome tools like these I will probably make a part two of this video now the links to all of these different tools will of course be down in the description so you can go and check them out but with all of that said let's jump right in to tool number one okay the first tool we're gonna talk about is solar land now this is an all-in-one nft solana toolkit this toolkit is actually made for both individual investors like you and me most likely but also for nft projects because they do offer a lot of solutions and services to nft projects as you can see they have partnered with over 400 different Solana NFTs, over 173,000 verified NFTs, total USD claimed with their solutions such as their airdrop solution and stuff like that, 5.3 million and over 15,000 daily page visits. So I'm guessing that most of you guys are individual NFT flippers and stuff. So let's first of all cover what this tool can help you with as an individual. So you have analytics right here where you can check analytics for different projects such as the floor price, the average price, price change in the last day, seven days 30 days you also have volume change right here as well as market cap for these different collections then you have upcoming drops where you can see all of these upcoming drops happening on solana in the near future you also have rarity tools for different projects as you can see right here now solar land also has their own solar token you have their solar token white paper up here so you can go and check it out if you will they are trading on serum but maybe some of the most interesting things with this tool is all the solutions and services they actually bring to different projects because they have solutions such as nft verification bot, they have sales bots, the listing bot, claim airdrop tool, snapshot tool, and NFT collection analytics. But in addition to that, they also deliver casino services. They have made customized casinos for a bunch of different projects such as Magpie Moguls or this Sankoku Roulette for example. And Solarland actually told me that if there are any projects watching this video right now that are interested in these casino tools, if you shoot Solarland a DM and tell them that you came from this video, they will give you 20% discount for their casino services. But anyways, Solarland is a really interesting tool. The all-in-one NFT Solana toolkit, mostly aimed at NFT projects, I would say more than individuals, but for sure overall, a really great tool. And then a pretty obvious one that I'm sure most of you have heard about is Famous Fox Federation. These guys are building so many awesome tools for the space and just bringing so much value to the entire Solana NFT ecosystem. Obviously, Famous Fox has their own NFT collection too, currently sitting at like 20 sol floor price. But if we go to menu right here, you can basically see different things for their fox collection such as staking and different missions and stuff but what we want to look at is the utility right here that anyone can use you don't need to hold their nfts to use these tools so basically the most known tool that famous fox has built is obviously the famous token market which is by far the biggest token marketplace on solana right now where you can basically trade whitelist tokens and different tokens like that but for sure it's mostly used for whitelist tokens so if you don't have whitelist to a project but you really want it you can probably find the whitelist token on famous fox and buy it here so i've been using the token marketplace a lot and i'm sure most of you guys have as well and if not i do recommend you to check it out it's for sure at least a tool that is worth knowing about but they do actually offer more tools as well another one that i personally like is the bulk send your nfts where you can basically send multiple nfts at once so if you were to send like five nfts from one wallet to another you don't have to send one and one individually you can just bulk all of these five nfts and send them all at once to the other wallet in one transaction so it just makes things a lot easier if you're going to send multiple nfts at once and then some other tools that they do have is ding which is send nft messages you have foxy list which is bulk list your nfts so if you want to list multiple nfts at once you can also do that here they also have foxy swap which is a peer-to-peer -peer swap platform you have foxy mint mint your own nft then you have foxy sweep quickly sweep floors and then you have foxy bid bid on multiple nfts at the same time so overall famous fox federation is bringing so much value to the space and their tools are amazing obviously especially that token marketplace so if you haven't checked out the token marketplace it's for sure worth taking a look at okay now the third tool we're going to talk about is soul scan i'm sure most of you have heard about this one too but for those of you who have not this is basically just a place to search for transactions and different wallets and stuff like that so if i for example were to search for my wallet right here you can basically see how much solana is in my wallet you can see how many spl tokens i have spl tokens basically just me 
means custom tokens such as an NFT token or a whitelist token. And you can see all of the transactions that this wallet has ever done. You can see Solana transfers, you can see SPL token transfers, and basically all the information you would ever need about your wallet you can find in here. So for example, if you're going to file your taxes or just want to look back at previous transactions, SoulScan is such a helpful tool. And you can also go into each transaction individually and see when it was sent, what was sent, from which wallet it got sent from, and just all of these different details about the transaction. Okay, the fourth tool we're going to talk about is Soul Sniper. We have to talk about this tool. This is another tool that I use quite often. You even have these featured users with the boys Easy Eats, Cody on Chain, Grisha, Jersey, and myself as well. But basically, this is just a way to see different charts for NFT collections. So let's say I, for example, wanted to check out the charts for Soul Gods. You can basically choose the different time periods you want to look at right here. One day, one week, one month, or all. If we had to all, you can basically see the history of the floor price right here. So you can see that the floor price has consistently increased over the past few months. Then you can see listed counts down here. You can see that listings has been dropping consistently over these last couple of months as well. And then you can see volume. You can see that the volume is much higher now than it was a couple of months ago. And then if you go to advanced right here, you can see in even more detail what the floor price and listings and stuff like that has done. You can even go to an hourly chart. So here we are at an hourly chart. You can see exactly what's going on with the floor price. You can even see RSI down here as well as volume. And this could just be a great indication for what is a good entry or not. For example, if you see the floor price dropping or just staying flat, but you see that the amount listed are going down drastically, might be a good time to enter. So this just helps you out in figuring out when to enter and what this collection has been doing over the past couple of weeks or months or days. And it's just a great tool overall that I use a lot myself. Okay, now another tool you need to know about is Moonrank. So Moonrank is currently one of the biggest rarity tools on Solana. These guys actually deliver the official rankings for a ton of different projects. If I, for example, were to check out Seisan Raptors right here, you can basically sort from rare to common, common to rare, minted earliest to last, or minted latest to earliest. And then you can just see the ranking for the different NFTs right here with the different traits and everything, even the rarity on these different traits. And just checking the rarity on the NFTs you are considering to buy before actually buying them is probably pretty smart because let's say, for example, you have D God. You can see that these five NFTs at the floor are pretty similar in price. There's not a huge difference in the price from the cheapest one to the fifth cheapest one. So out of these five, you probably just want to go with the rarest one. And to check the rarity, you just look at the number of the NFT. You search that in the collection on Moonrank and you get the rarity of that NFT. So Moonrank is just one of the biggest rarity tools on Solana and for sure something worth looking into and worth using probably when buying NFTs. And then the sixth tool we're going to talk about is Sol Rarity because this is also one of the biggest rarity tools on Solana. You basically have Moonrack and Sol Rarity and how rare that is maybe. Those are like the three main ones. Basically how this works is you just type in one of these rarity checker channels. You type in rarity collection, then the collection you want to look at and then the number of the NFT and it lets you know the exact rank of that NFT. If it's rare, common or mythic, stuff like that. This is actually the way I prefer to check rarity for NFTs over Moonrank. So if you prefer checking in Discord over a website, Soul Rarity is for sure the way to go. And these guys obviously also released their NFT collection not very long ago. And by holding their NFT, you get access to an even better rarity tool on their website, I believe. I haven't tried it out myself because I don't hold their NFT. Okay, now the seventh and the last project we're going to cover today is Hyperspace. This is probably one of the best places to find upcoming Solana NFT projects, in my opinion. You basically have these featured launches up here, and then you have all of these different upcoming drops down here. And right here, you can also sort by date or likes, and then you can just see all of these different upcoming drops down on this page. So for checking upcoming drops other than Twitter and Discord, Hyperspace is probably my favorite, and for sure another tool worth checking out. And there you go, those were the seven tools in today's video. We had Solaland, we had Famous Fox Federation, we had SoulScan, Soul Sniper, Hyperspace, Moonrank, and Soul Rarity. These are all great tools that I use very often myself, and if you don't use them, I for sure think it's worth taking a look at. So let me know down in the comment section what you thought of these different tools, and if there's any other tools you guys want me to check out and maybe feature in a future video, do let me know down below. Also, if there's any NFT collections you want me to talk about on the channel going forward, also let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and got any value from it, smash that like, subscribe down below. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter and check out my Patreon links down below as well. All of the links to these different tools will also be down in the description so you can go and check them out yourself. Now with all of that said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.